kitchen. But yeah, as y'all see in the title or in the thumbnail, I'm going to be making whipped matcha and showing y'all how to make it too. So let's just get into the video. So the ingredients y'all are going to need, a whisk, if you're making this by hand, and I always whisk it by hand, but if you have like a hand mixer, you can also use that. Heavy whipping cream, matcha powder, and I also use baking cocoa if I want to make whipped chocolate. If you want to see the whipped chocolate recipe, definitely make sure to like this video and comment it down below if you guys want to see that, and I would definitely make sure to do it. Then you're going to need a bowl to whisk it in, a cup, I like the clear cup so you can actually see the matcha in the milk, sorry I watch too much ASMR so every time I click or tap on something. Then I'm using almond milk because that's the milk that we use in um, my house, but if you have regular milk or 2% or whatever, or whole milk, whatever milk y'all drink, it'll also be fine for this. So first thing we're going to do is take our whipping cream and I'm going to change the angle in just a second so let me go ahead and change the angle and I'll be right back. So I've changed the angle so y'all can see that right there that's the thing that's holding up my camera but I basically just eyeball it so we're just going to pour about that much a little bit more. You don't want to pour too much though because when it whips it's going to turn into a lot. Also, I've been making butter out of this, just whipping this. And then you're going to add about a tablespoon of matcha powder. If you want to be exact, the recipe will be down in the description. I'll say it right now. So you're basically going to take two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of whipping or matcha powder, and then you can also, um, and then you can also add one tablespoon of sugar. I'm not going to be adding sugar today because honestly we don't have a lot of sugar left and so I don't want to use it on this. So I'm just eyeballing it, but you can definitely use the actual recipe. So. And now we're just going to begin whipping. Now, if you're using a hand mixer, this process is obviously going to be a lot faster. But honestly, I don't have, well, we do have a hand mixer, but I don't know where it is. And we have one of those big mixers, but I also don't feel like taking that out. So, yeah, I'm just going to be whipping this. It's going to be in time lapse so that y'all have to sit through this long whipping process. So, let's just go ahead and get into the time lapse. <laughs>
So I think this is done whipping. Look at that, it's whipped. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. I don't know if you saw in the time lapse, but we had a little mayhem. We had too much matcha, so we had to add a little bit more whipping, heavy whipping cream and stuff. I made a lot more matcha, whipped matcha than intended, but you know what? It's fine. Cause then I won't have to make it tomorrow. So yeah, we're just going to move the matcha. And here's my cup. So let's go ahead and add some mayo. You need some mayo. There's our almond milk. I didn't fill it up to the top. I filled it up about halfway. And now we're gonna add our matcha. I'm gonna go get a spoon. This is about a tablespoon. I don't even know what a tablespoon was. You should though. If you don't, it's fine. But you should know what a tablespoon is. Gosh, look at that whipped goodness. I'm going to move the cup though because it's going to be a little bit tight. I'm honestly not even trying to make it pretty. Trigger warning if you don't like loud sounds. <laughs> Gotta get all the match out of them. And like guys, it literally only took me about two minutes to whip this. Two to four minutes to whip this. It's not long at all. Like, if y'all are doing hand mixtures, then that's probably long because it literally probably takes y'all like two seconds. But, like, that's not long. It didn't take me forever. Like, it usually does. This is gonna be our last matcha sweep, or maybe our second to last matcha sweep. Some last matcha sweep, but I wanted to try it. There you go. Okay, so here's our whipped matcha. Do you did you like it? Did you like it? Like it? Like it? All y'all OG Alicia Marie fans will know that one. I used to watch her channel a bunch, and I still kind of do watch her vlog channel. But yeah, we're gonna move down from this angle so y'all can see a better look at this whipped matcha so this is the whipped matcha i know it doesn't look good but it actually is really good you do see the almond milk right there and then the whipped matcha right there so yeah we're just gonna be mixing it now so let me just get my spoon let's roll it oh my gosh it's so hard to do this mm -hmm. Tastes so good. If y'all like sweet stuff, like sweet, like if y'all ever tried the matcha green tea lemonade from Starbucks, if y'all like that type of matcha, I definitely recommend adding sugar. I do, but I actually kind of like the like the regular matcha better. But it's just not as sweet as you think it is. So y'all think y'all like matcha and you like the matcha green tea lemonade from 
Starbucks. You probably do want to add sugar to this. You can try without sugar at first and see if you like it. But if you like sugary stuff, I do recommend adding sugar. Um, but yeah, this is my whipped matcha. If y'all want to remember, if y'all want to see the whipped chocolate, make sure to give it a like and tell me down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!